This local sports report is brought to you by Joe Romeo from Remax Twin City and the Romeo Circle. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home or just need advice from an experienced realtor, contact Joe and his team. Give them a call at 519-546-7979 or visit RomeoCircle.com. Here is one of the new faces joining the Cambridge Red Hawks for the upcoming GOJHL season. We're thrilled to see Matthew Freeze wearing a Red Hawks jersey here in his hometown, born and raised in Cambridge, and now you're joining your hometown team. Uh, just tell me what that is like for you, Matt. Man, it's, it's, it happened a couple weeks ago, and it just still hasn't fully sunk in yet. Um, you know, coming to the games two years ago when they had that run, just watching them play, their, their fans, playing in Cambridge at the back of the Galt. Yep. Just unreal feeling to be playing back in Cambridge. What's been the response from your family and friends? You know, I can tell you're a little bit overwhelmed and excited and, and all of those things. And I think that's awesome because when you make the jump from U18 into the GOJHL, it's a huge step. You're very deserving of wearing that jersey. We'll get into your skill here in a minute. Um, but what's it been like with your family and friends and just some of those conversations? Because you seem really, really elated, to be honest, Matt. Yeah, my, my family was pumped. Um, I got the call from Bill basically right when I woke up. Mm -hmm. And just, just my mom was the only one home. <laughs> and, yeah, she was just thrilled because, yeah, my family's been all over me about making a junior team this year. And the only team I wanted to play for was Cambridge. It's the only team I signed up for. Um, so I put everything into this tri these tryouts. And, yeah, I'm just thrilled to be on a junior team, especially with the Red Hawks. And here's the thing. Hard work pays off, and I've watched you over the last number of, number of years. You're with the Kitchener Junior Rangers U18 program last year with the Cambridge Hawks U16 before that. The one thing that I've noticed about you, and I saw it on some breakaway goals even last season during those scrimmages, this kid can motor. He can go. He's got wheels on the ice. That's the thing that I noticed. But overall, describe your game to me, Matt. Just, a, I'm a great two-way forward. Mm -hmm. um, I was more defensive back probably minor Bantam and then once I hit that major Bantam year with Mark Kraus it really changed me into being more offensive. Right. Um, still a playmaker, still don't pot many goals but when I do <laughs> I try to make them special. They're pretty. Yep so yeah so just a physical guy even though I'm small love to hit um, and yeah just a two-way forward. What did you learn the most from your U18 experience? I know it was a challenging season just because of the different COVID things going on, and I don't want to focus on the negative, obviously, because I still think you developed. I still think you had a good experience with head coach Ryan Yance with the Kitchener Junior Rangers U18 program. What can you say about them and maybe what you take away from there to bring here? Honestly, just being plan not playing as much, mm -hmm. and just Ryan Yance was a great coach. Had lots of fun with the practices that we could have and just playing that U16 team where it was top of the top notch for U16, even yeah. though we were a year older, yeah. they were still a pretty good team. So just playing at least at somewhat of a high pace with no contact. So you were able to kind of adjust to maybe body position more. Um, but overall, it was just a great season with that uh, U18 team and just lots of fun. What have you done this summer to make sure that you're ready? Because that's half the battle right now, right? A lot of guys haven't played really a competitive hockey game in two years. you got to be mentally strong, you got to be physically ready, all of those things. How have you best prepared yourself to step onto the ice here on September 25th for the home opener? Yeah, just working out. Working out every day that I could um, just to get bigger and stronger, knowing yeah. that I'm facing guys a couple years older than me that are 200 pounds, 190 pounds. Um, so you'll just wheel past them, right? Hopefully that's the plan. <laughs> um, but yeah, just working out, trying to gain muscle, gain yeah. a little bit of weight, and just trying to stay as fit as possible. Last one I want to touch on is your experience with Cambridge Minor Hockey. Like we talked about at the beginning, born and raised in Cambridge, you played Cambridge Minor Hockey all the way up until your U16 season where Ryan Darcy was your head coach. You probably can't summarize your minor hockey career in 30 seconds, but yeah. give it your best shot. I'm sure there's a lot of people along the way that had an impact to get you here for you to wear that nice jersey? Cambridge, I can't say enough about Cambridge Minor Hockey. Um, great, I've had great coaches and Jason Ireton, Jeff Pelly, Mark Krause, and Ryan uh, Darcy. Um, but yeah, just it's just a great organization to play for when you're starting your hockey, hockey career and just all the way throughout. Just, yeah, just, you can't say enough about Cambridge. Uh, born and raised, like you said, it's just awesome. Other shout outs go to who? My parents. 
definitely. And my brothers, even though they're hard on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, just parents, my coaches, this coaching staff here for giving me the opportunity to play for the Red Hawks, um, and my friends. Yep. Huge, huge role on me. So yeah. Can't wait to see you on the ice here at the Galt Arena Gardens. Very deserving of this opportunity. And I think Cambridge fans are really going to like when they see, what they see when you're out there on the ice. You'll pot a few. You got some speed. And you're a hardworking forward. Congratulations, Mac. Thank Great you. to see you in Cambridge. And thanks for the time. Yeah, thanks, Darren. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.